Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use GPT Quiz Generator for Google Forms. So starting off, you want to head over to the three dots at the top right and then click on Get Add-ons. From here, you want to search up GPT Quiz Generator for Forms and it should be this one right here. And once you have clicked on Install, you want to head over here and then click on GPT Quiz Generator for Forms and then click on Start. So starting off over here at the top, I got my estimate of money and then the words and so what this basically does is if i type in any kind of information so if i type in anything it's going to calculate how much money is going to spend on my remaining balance in order to, if i use this information this amount of information to generate a quiz so it's going to use this amount of money so 0 0.0027 dollars and my remaining balance is $20.46. And this, this is based on the type of model. So right now I'm using GPT 3.5. So if I were to use GPT 4 Turbo, the price would be higher since a GPT 4 Turbo is much better. And if you were to ever run out of money, you can always uh, add more by clicking on the deposit button, which will take you to our website where you could choose a plan and then add more words or money to your balance. And if you want to know how we calculate the estimate, you can click on the info button, which will take you to our website again. And if you scroll down over here, we got a section which talks about how we calculate your estimate based on the amount of words and the model itself. I can choose a file varying from a Google Doc, a PDF, a handwritten doc, an image. It has a big variety. So over here, I got my notes that are handwritten about the human brain. So if I were to click on choose file and then choose the handwritten file, it's going to analyze that document and it's going to basically type it out. So if I were to compare it side by side, as you can see, they're basically the same thing. And I also got an image of the human brain with it being labeled. So if I were to choose that one, as you can see, it's going to type out the parts of the human brain. I got my regular notes, which is just text. So if I were to choose that one, As you can see, it managed to analyze that one too. So once I have my text, my information loaded up, now I want to give it a specific instruction of what exactly I want it, like of what exactly I want it to use from the information in order to generate the quiz itself. So the instruction I'm going to give it is make an easy quiz that can be answered by a fifth grader. So it's going to use the instruction and the information to generate the quiz. And if I come to the right side, I can add more. So I want to make it, I can either make it a multiple choice, a checkbox or a drop down. I'm going to keep it a multiple choice. I'm going to make it have seven questions and I'm going to make it have a count of four answers. And then there's going to be always one correct answer. And I'm going to use the GPT-4 Turbo model. And I want the a language in English. You can change the answer list from numbers to uh, the alphabet. So it's, so it's not going to be one, two, three. It's going to be A, B, C. And you can make this form a quiz. And you can also choose what, how many points each question is. And then we also got the history right here. So if you were to generate a quiz like this, and then if you were to exit out and then come back, it will be saved in your history. And then you can click and if you click on it, it's going to regenerate it back again. So which is pretty useful. And if you click on the clear button, it's going to clear all of your history of your all your previous uh, generated quizzes. So now once I'm done configuring everything, I'm going to click on generate questions. And after some time, it's going to generate the questions itself. So as you can see, we got the we got the questions themselves, the correct answer. And this is pretty useful since you don't have to spend a lot of time looking through the information yourself in order to make a quiz. You could just easily just input it here, input the information, give it a specific instruction and just generate it in one click. And if I click on add questions to the form, as you can see, all of the questions now are added to the form.